Most electric cars do not feature a multi-speed gear system that available in IC engine vehicles. We are going to check out this in this video. An electric vehicle uses one or more electric motors for propulsion. An electric motor has a versatile stock versus speed characteristics. That means at very low speeds also an electric machine can provide high torque. An IC engine cannot operate at very low speeds and it cannot provide adequate torque to drive a vehicle. An electric motor can operate from 0 to some 20,000 rpm. At 0 rpm itself it can provide a torque that can drive an electric vehicle. In general, an IC engine operates from 1000 to 6000 rpm. Assume that we connect an IC engine directly to the wheels of an electric motorcycle. It should look like a hub motor setup. Even though it is not possible, we are just assuming like that. What will happen if you operate that IC engine? It should revolve at 1000 rpm always and the tire will always be rotating but it cannot provide the adequate torque to drive the vehicle. We cannot drive the vehicle below 1000 rpm. If we look into the speed versus torque characteristics of an IC engine, it's clear that the engine will not operate below 1000 rpm and the maximum torque will be available around some 2000 to 4000 rpm. So we will get the maximum torque from the engine if we operate the vehicle at that particular rpm. The second graph shows the torque versus speed characteristics of an electric machine. So we use a multi-speed transmission system to change the torque versus speed characteristics of that vehicle at the wheel level. If we use a higher gear ratio then the speed will be reduced and the torque will be increased. That's what happens at the first gear. So the IC engine vehicle can travel at very low speed with high torque. So we use the first gear for that purpose. Since the engine cannot operate beyond some 6000 rpm, we cannot go at higher speeds using first gear. To increase the speed of the vehicle, we shift the gear from first gear to second gear. Then the torque of the vehicle reduces and the speed of the vehicle increases. It happens when we go for third and fourth gear also. This is a torque versus speed characteristics of electric machine. Here we have the characteristics of IC engine also. In the graph, we can see that when the vehicle is operating in the first gear, the torque will be maximum and the speed range will be minimum. And if we go for the second gear, the maximum torque reduces and the speed range increases a bit. Similarly, it happens for third and fourth gear. But an electric motor can provide all these characteristics even without a gear system. An electric motor can operate at a wide speed range and has a torque characteristic suitable for vehicles. At very low speeds such as 0 rpm also it can provide a higher torque. The blue line indicates the torque speed characteristics of an electric machine. So it is clear that we don't need a multi-speed transmission system in an electric vehicle. The electric machines have the characteristics that are suitable for vehicles to run. Sometimes, to provide very high torques at the starting, we use two-speed gear system in an electric vehicle. It's available in some heavy-duty trucks, but usually we never use multi-speed gear system in an electric vehicle. That's all for today. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel and enable the notifications. Do we need a multi-speed gear system in an electric vehicle? What do you think? Please comment your thought below. Here we have a video that explains the gear system in an electric truck. Do watch that video. See you there in that video. Thanks a lot for watching.